Uh, I, you know, we were we were competitive all night. I mean, there were you know, there's some uh, some momentum changes, you know, and momentum pushes through that game. But I, you know, it, you know, throughout the hockey game, we uh, when we managed the puck well, which was most of the night. Um, we, we put ourselves in pretty good spots. Now, they had a hell of a push in the third period. You know, that's going to happen. Um, you know, when you have, you know, those two guys on the ice as often as they were, um, you know, you're going to have a push from them. But, you know, our, our guys handled it well, um, you know, and, and we're able to close out the, close out the game. How would you say you come to evaluate this team when other teams are making a push? Because that's a position you guys are used to. So how would you the evolution has been from... We have a little bit more cohesion. I mean, that's that's natural. That's going to come with um, with being in those situations together. Um, you know, there's uh, uh, you know there's different people involved, uh, but the, you know the guys that, uh, especially down the stretch tonight, I thought you know overall did a pretty good job. We don't like the goal that you know we gave up. You know, right after the power play. Uh, that's one that uh, that made our job a little bit harder. Uh, but again, they, they made a good play and um, got within one. And then from there, everybody took a deep breath and, and just went out and did their job the next shift. It, it felt like tonight was a night, you mentioned battle. You guys were battling a winning battle, it felt like. When you're playing a team with that kind of high skill, you almost have to win the puck battles. And... Well, you got to win, yeah. You know, it's, it's little things that make such a big difference. Uh, getting through the neutral zone rather than... Um, you know, then uh, th then giving it back and, and having to, to defend a second time, especially when you're tired. Um, it's it's little things like that that put us in good spots tonight. We only had a couple short stretches where we didn't manage the puck well and where we didn't value those pucks in the neutral zone to get them uh, to good areas for uh, for ourselves. Um, you know, and those are those those you know those little those spots stand out. Pretty, uh, pretty distinctly. So we did a good job in that area tonight, um, you know, and that that put us in a good spot then uh, to be on top of them. It seems like there's there's different guys stepping up. Like you had some of the guys that have been out of the lineup recently, or maybe even in the AHL, had an impact tonight. And uh, in, you know, last game Ryan Donato has two goals tonight. Blackwell steps up and scores, and Land and Shea and assists on. They have Shea and was on out at the very end of the game. Can you talk a little bit about. What that means to have those yeah, that's that's why I said I think earlier this morning, you know, I, I made it, you know, uh, I guess a little bit uh, in jest, but nobody cares who's out of the lineup. Nobody cares who's in the lineup, right? What what injuries are they're they're a part of this league, um, so you know whoever's in the lineup on any given night has to um, has to go out and you know has to uh, provide something that that helps their team win, and you know. Probably the biggest factor tonight was we had contributions from everybody in the lineup. Big or small, we had contributions from everybody in the lineup. Speaking of, Adam Larson doesn't show a whole lot of emotion. Did he do anything in the locker room? I mean, half of the game trying to keep her close, the man the Anything? I got nothing for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to have to ask uh, Lars that. Um, you know, I know he, uh, I know it was a, you know, it was a good feeling for him. Obviously, he made a heck of a play on on the goal that he scored, um, and he battled real hard all night. Um, you know, and that's just that's just who he is. So, um, you know, the emotion side there, there's a little more there than you think, um, and and his teammates know that. A couple of you guys mentioned the crowd and the noise, especially at the end of the game. How much did you notice that, and how much of this is truly a home home ice advantage? Yeah, it's turning into that a little bit. You know, for sure, for sure, our guys are. Like they're aware of it, you know, and they want to play well for for the people that are that are up in the stands, um, you know. Uh, so it's it's a two way street, right? Our guys want to play well and play hard in front of uh, our home fans, and you know we we get a boost from them, and you know that's that's a you know that's it's a nice shot in the arm when you get the tough patches in the game, um, you know, and it's uh, it's a nice thing to see growing and building uh, in in our home uh, in our home rink. Yeah, no, you, you get reminded real quick when you try to do it, right, that it's not a great formula. Um, you know, so you have to, you get, you got to think the right way. There, there's a balance there. If you're going to try to defend all night, uh, you're going to die a slower, you know, maybe a quick death, right? 
Um, but but there's a balance there, you know, to to stand on the edge, uh, staying aggressive, uh, you know, and, and trying to generate and, and you know and, and make another team defend, um, you know, versus you know doing things at high risk. And I, I didn't think there was very much risk to our game tonight at all. Yeah, these guys are, I mean, they're, <laughs> they can hurt you in so many different ways. I, I don't know that, I wouldn't say that it changes necessarily, but, you know, there's an awareness that you have to have uh, in who you're playing against on the ice. And there's a competitiveness, competitiveness that you have to have for, you know, the guys that are out there shift after shift. Uh, you know, that's ultimately, there's a competitiveness that you have to have, uh, you know, to be confident to go and, and play nose to nose with guys for 60 minutes. I just I just saw the the NHL network was on uh, on our TV and I and he wasn't mentioned as first star. I can't believe it. <laughs> didn't flinch, didn't leave the bench, didn't uh, didn't miss a shift. So, so, so prob probably concussed, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I'm actually glad that one hit him because I didn't see it. <laughs> That's cold. Yeah, Thanks, Dave. Cold, Thanks. cold world. <laughs>